All right, Jeff, thank you. Pressure continues to build against Little Rock police to release the dash cam footage of a deadly officer-involved shooting. Fox 16's Mitch McCoy in studio tonight with a look at what police leaders are saying about it. Hi, Mitch. Hey, Donna, good evening to you. We learned a lot today. The department's interim chief says the dash cam footage will be released possibly next week after the criminal investigation is sent to the Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office. This message comes as frustration with officers inside LRPD continues to rise. At this time, I'm asking the community to be patient and allow due process to continue. In a video message released Friday by Little Rock Police, Interim Chief Wayne Buley says two investigations are happening now into last week's officer-involved shooting in internal affairs and criminal. I recognize how important transparency is as we continue to strive to build trust and legitimacy with the community that we are sworn to protect and serve. Chief Buley says he understands there's a great deal of interest and demand from the community to release the dash cam footage, but won't be able to until the criminal case is sent to the prosecuting attorney's office, which is expected to happen late next week. Once that investigation is complete, the file will be submitted to the Pulaski County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, and they will review the evidence contained in the file and determine if there are any criminal violations. LRPD says Officer Charles Stark shot and killed 30-year-old Bradley Blackshire during a traffic stop when he says the alleged stolen car Blackshire was driving accelerated at him. Officer Starks has been relieved of duty, his fellow officers now sharing photos of him and show of support for their brother in blue. Chief Buley sending this message to his officers. We are a very professional organization and I ask that we remain focused and professional as we carry out our mission to serve. It's important to note the police department does not file charges. That is left up to the Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office. It sounds like next week is going to be a big week in terms of this story. It will be. We're going to learn a lot more about the uh, dash camera footage. We're going to be able to see that. We'll be able to uh, dissect that. But it could be several months before we know if the Prosecutor's Office decides if charges will be filed. It could be another uh, you know, month, maybe it takes two, a while. on the it's internal affairs investigation to figure out if um, uh, Officer Starks broke any policy violations. Okay, all right, we'll be watching. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you know it's a big topic of conversation Sunday night at 7.30 on Fox16.com's Arkansas Crime Watch. Join Mitch McCoy as he discusses the police-involved shooting, a level three sex offender accused of dressing up as an elf at a school Christmas party, and much more. That's Sunday night, 7.30 on fox16.com.